One of the most important areas of medicine today is the research and development of new drugs. They're a critical weapon in fighting disease and health problems around the world. Southeast Regional Research Group is one of WRBL-TV's leading medical specialists. CERG is a Georgia-based medical research company that manages clinical trials. These trials are essential to the way we're helping people around the world. This video focuses on how we conduct trials and recruit local participants. When it comes to tomorrow's cures and treatments, all of us play a role, and we couldn't do it without you. Southeast Regional Research Group was formed by Dr. Kingsley and I several years ago. He and I both participated in research as undergraduates, as medical students, as residents, and then afterwards. It's a national trend that research is becoming more and more complex. We're having more and more drugs come to market yet fewer and fewer physicians are actually participating in research because of time constraints in their practice because of decreasing reimbursements and, and other reasons. Because of this we saw a niche market. We started Southeast Regional Research Group and CERG Incorporated to allow subspecialists to continue with their regular practice yet conduct research and get the drugs to market that we need. SMO, Site Management Organizations. Um, traditionally site management organizations simply broker trials. They take a trial from a sponsor and find a physician who wants to do the trial and then they're finished. CERG and Southeast Regional Research Group have taken us a step further. We actually do what the name implies, manage the trial. So we do everything from getting the trial from the sponsor, finding a physician to do the trial, and doing the legwork in between. So it's truly a management organization, thereby allowing the subspecialist or primary care physicians or whoever the principal investigator is to do what they do best, simply see patients and we'll take care of the background research. Clinical trial studies are essential for the future of medicine. Anytime a physician is able to put pen to paper, if we're able to write a prescription, that only happens because somebody did clinical research before that. And when, when the public hears about, about these new events where uh, a given pharmaceutical company maybe brought a, a medicine out to market and and then we find years later that it actually did something in terms of rates of heart attacks or, or did something else that we didn't expect. It's clinical research that finds those things. Without clinical research, we don't know what the side effects are of medicines or what the long-term ramifications are. This is absolutely essential for the protection of the public. There are multiple reasons that patients participate. Some participate because they just simply want to be part of that future of medicine. They want to have a role in in discovering that next whatever, that next cancer treatment, that next blood pressure medicine, heart attack prevention. Patients get many, many benefits from participating in research. They get free health care throughout the research process. When a patient participates in, in a research trial with us, we're paid to be researchers. We don't bill patients anything. We don't bill insurance companies anything. When they're participating in this project, they're getting free health care, they're getting free labs and EKGs and whatever's necessary, CT scans, perhaps a surgery. Um, patients get more hands-on care in a research project than they would have outside of a research project. Many times we're seeing patients every single day. They're being evaluated by a physician, they're getting much more lab work than they would have gotten otherwise. We're much more on top of that disease process. Patients learn much, much more about their, their disease or disorder through going through this research project. We have, for example, a COPD trial where patients are getting pulmonary function testing four times over the course of the year that they're participating in that trial. That's extremely unusual. No insurance company would ever pay for that. Most patients don't get that sense of how their COPD is, how they, they act on a day-to-day -day basis, but by participating in that trial, they come out of that year with a much better sense of, of how their lungs function and, and how they are when they're having a bad day and how they are when they're having a good day. Well, I'm breathing better now. I was having problems breathing and working at the same time. I couldn't like talk to you and whatever I wanted to do. It to, I couldn't do two things at the same time and breathe, so I had to stop and breathe because I wanted to stay up for a spell. Well, I got COPD and I was having problems breathing, but now I can breathe pretty good. I can work 100%. I don't have no problems at all. I don't have no dead feelings in my body or nothing like that. I'm back to normal. When I first arrived here, I had um, a skin infection and it has gradually, you know, since the very beginning of it has cleared up um, through all the studies that have been done and the treatment that I've received. Uh, the care that I received was very nice. The uh, staff was, you know, very aware of what was going on with me, helped me out. It's helped my condition from being completely out of work right back to work as quick as possible. Well, I feel at home here. Everybody's really nice and friendly and I just treat you like they're one of, one of their own. The physicians and staff at CERG have addressed this with the utmost attention 
and it's very serious. The medication they've given me is giving me dramatic results in very little time. Excellent care. They take really good care of you here. We're running a, a trial for atrial fibrillation right now. That trial is going to be running for the next four years where we'll be tracking patients. Patients with atrial fibrillation, it creates a, a situation where in their heart, there's an area that no longer really allows blood to flow through it very well. So blood can pool there and it can form clots. When it forms those clots, they can sometimes break free and go to the brain and cause strokes. And that's why patients with atrial fibrillation get put on what we call blood thinners. They typically get put on Coumadin. But Coumadin has all sorts of downsides. There are many companies that are looking for better medicines. Coumadin's the best thing we've got but we're actively seeking better medicines that aren't going to require monthly, monthly follow-ups, all the blood tests that are required for Coumadin, and, uh, and perhaps we can find something that actually has better outcomes, and that's something that we're running right now. We're looking for patients for that trial. I'd like to thank people for watching these videos, for, for uh, taking a look at what our company's all about. I'd like to thank them for, for learn, learning more. They can feel free to talk to their physicians about it. They can call our office. They can check our website or this website. We're always available and always willing to discuss with them the possibilities of their participating in clinical research in the future of medicine. CERG is dedicated to better health care through superior medical research. You can make a difference, too. Use our website to learn more about clinical trials and the steps you can take. Browse our calendar of trials and the conditions we're treating. To schedule your screening, call us today at 888-737-7408. That's CERG, 08, Southeast Regional Research Group. Better Lives for all we serve.